channel hope you've all had a wonderful day today's video is my empties for august i feel like i'm really far away bear with there you go that's a bit better um so yeah i have my empties for august so last month i had 28 items um so i'm hoping for a fair few more in this month i think there is because there have been quite a few things that i've remembered using up um, some of them sample sizes and bits like that. So yeah, we're just going to get into it. I'm going to show you what I used up, um, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I'd buy again and what I wouldn't. Um, so yeah, here is my empties. Let's get into it. So the first thing I have are, this is terrible really, three packs of wipes. Uh, so the first ones are the My Little Star um, by Superdrug Baby Wipes. As I say, every month, um, I always like to have a packet of baby wipes on the go. So that is them. And then I have three packs of the antibacterial household wipes. Um, so I have two packs by the co-op, which are lemon scented and they're fine. And then these lemon and mandarin ones, which are from Home Bargains, I believe. And I actually do prefer these ones over these, um, but they will do a similar thing. Uh, the next thing is a Head & Shoulders Anti-Dandruff Shampoo for men. Um, Dre used most of this and I used it occasionally when my shampoo ran out. Um, it was okay, it smelt really nice. Um, I don't know if it particularly did anything for my hair. I don't really have a problem with dandruff, um, whereas he does. So I think for him it seemed to be working quite well, but I know if he uses a product for too long it stops working for him so he'll probably move on to something different and then maybe come back to this one at another time um i have dyed my hair again as i said in a previous video um and i used the garnier bell color so this is the box of the one i used it was only two pound it was really cheap um so i have all the bottles in here so i won't count the box but i will count the bottles of things i used so there is that um let's get them out so there were ooh, they're soggy so there were two of the color things um a color conditioner ooh. then i did dye my hair twice um in august there's another two colors um because i just have really thick hair um, even though it's not as long as it used to be, it's so thick that I have to use two bottles to actually get through it all. So there's those. Um, I have an exfoliating foot peel. Um, so I used this about two weeks before going into hospital to have an operation on my teeth. Um, and I was petrified that I'd done it too late um, and my feet would be all flaky and gross before I went in. So um, I did have to peel quite a lot of the skin off before I went in for my op. Um, but I find these ones really good. They're like 79p in Home Bargains. They're by Derma V10. Um, and they are the best one I have found to get rid of that like nasty dead skin on your feet. And weirdly enough, there is nothing more satisfying than sitting there picking the skin off. I know that's really gross and people are going to hate on me for that. But it's great fun. Love it. So yeah, I really recommend those if you're looking to get rid of some nasty dead skin. Um, I have this Batiste Tropical Dry Shampoo. Um, so I actually only had a tiny bit of this left, but I'd used a serum which is in here um, on my hair and it just seemed to look really oily. So I did use this to kind of balance it out a little bit before my next wash. Um, so I have a few, I don't know how many I have quite a few. I have quite a few of these um, hair colour conditioners. So I have two of the Clairol Nice and Easy ones. I think these were probably from last month um, that I just finished up. Oh, it's the colour cream. No, these are the conditioners. So these are the colour creams that went with the two tubes from there. Um, as I said, I would probably use it again, but I'm not looking to dye my hair again anytime soon. I kind of wanted a bit of a darker autumny colour for autumn. 
Um, so there's those, and then I have the Garnier and um, like Clairol um, conditioners. I really like these, and I think they make your hair smell like you've been to a salon. Um, so I do, I do quite like these. Um, I have this Peppermint Reviving Foot Scrub by The Body Shop. I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, I really didn't like the texture of it at all. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it, I have to be honest. Um, it was quite good to get the remaining like skin off my feet after using the mask, um, but I found a pumice stone did exactly the same thing with a bit of shower gel, so I really didn't rate that one too highly. Um, these are like a little sample set by Awaku? Hui? Hui? I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but there was the high gloss primer, which is the one that made my hair a bit oily, but I did run my fingers through the top of my hair, which I think was mm -hmm. a bad move. Um, and then I have a conditioner and a shampoo, which smelt lovely. Um, I would potentially get them again if it was in a sample thing there by Paul Mitchell. Um, but I do have other sample ones that I've had before that I like better. So there is those. Um, I had two little jar candles, um, they, yeah, they smell nice enough, um, I'm not going to keep the glasses and reuse them because I just don't see the point. Uh, we have a thing of butt wipes, can never have enough butt wipes. Uh, I have a Neutrogena tea gel therapeutic shampoo, again this is another one that Dre tends to use but I did finish up a little bit of it um, for like flaky scalp that kind of stuff he likes it it smells revolting um but yeah he quite likes it uh, i have this mitchum bamboo powder deodorant and mm -hmm. um, so this is like a cream deodorant and i have to say i really enjoyed it i love the smell i can't fault it other than if you're wearing a white top it changes it to like a yellowy orange color if you get a little bit sweaty um so yeah it's, it's for wetness absorption which it did do but if i felt myself being a little bit damp i knew instantly that the color of my top was going to change to like a yellowy orange color it comes out in the wash provided you put like whitening stuff in it but i really didn't like it based on that it was good deodorant though it had zero percent aluminium which is really good for me because it, aluminium just does not suit my pits um but yeah i think it's not ideal if you're wearing light coloured clothing. Uh, I have a few more candles. So the first one I have is this summer citrus in like a little tub. This was really nice. My mum got me a set of these. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I can't repurchase them because they're from Debenhams and Debenhams doesn't exist anymore. Um, but they were really nice. I do quite enjoy like a citrusy scent. And then I have two Yankee Candle ones. So I have a Cozy Up Recon Fort. Recon Fort? Cozy Up. And then a Sicilian Lemon. Um, I really enjoyed the lemon one. Really, really liked it. And this one I burned the other day to kind of get me in the fall autumn spirit because the weather here has been pants for weeks. So I'm getting to the point now where I think we're just going to have to accept autumn is coming, which is fine for me because I love autumn. It's my favourite time of year. Jumpers, hot chocolates, pumpkins, the whole shebang. Love it. Um, so yeah, there's those. I also have this reed diffuser, which was actually from Christmas. And it lasted a really, really long time and then I forgot about it. So this may have needed to be in a different empties, but it's in the August one because that's when I remembered I had it. <laughs> Um, but this is the Avon Winter Spice one, and it does smell amazing. It smells just like Christmas. Um, I have another two of these left, so I will probably get them out again around December time. Um, but I do love this one. Uh, I have a feminine deodorant. I got given this in like a set. Um, that came from Superdrug, it was like a free gift or something. I did use it, but it's not something I would buy again. Like I don't feel like I need to use this kind of product. Um, and there's still a fair amount of it left, so it's just gonna go. Uh, I have this nail gel remover. Um, so I do 
do gel nails. I have my own like UV lamp and stuff, so I do do it occasionally. Um, and that's just the little remover that came with the set I bought. Uh, I have this pack of three Wilkinson's Quattro for Women blades for a razor. I like this one because it has a detachable razor head that you can get replacements for and it also has like an electric blade on the end. Um, so yeah, I like that one. I have this Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturiser. Really like this, love the scent like the way my makeup goes on. Um, I would probably repurchase this one, but I do have a lot of other primers um, that I need to use up. Um, but yes, I think this one you can buy on Look Fantastic or, some, or somewhere like that, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's that. I have a Cuticura Original Antibacterial Hand Gel, because hand gel is just everywhere at the minute. So there's that one. And then the last few products I have. So I have these two by Bare Minerals. I have the Poreless Clay Cleanser, which was fine. Um, I didn't mind that at all. I wasn't a huge fan of the smell, but it was okay. And then this Poreless Exfoliating Essence. I didn't find anything exfoliating about it at all. I felt like it was water squidging out of like a little packet. So yeah, I really didn't rate that. Um, but it's always nice to try a little sample of something to see if you like it or you don't. And then finally, my absolute favourite of all time is the shampoo and conditioner by Sol de Janeiro. It's the Brazilian Joa one, and I love this. Um, I have looked into buying the full size ones, but they're really expensive, so I tend to just get the little samples when I get feel unique as like a little treat. Um, and then every now and again when I wash my hair and use them, I feel like I'm having a little spa day. So yeah, there's a lot of items today. We're going to count them up and see how we did. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 39. So there are 39 items going today. I am super, super excited to have used up that many. Um, I do have a lot of samples, so I feel like if I was to use my samples more, I would get through them because a lot of these were sample sizes. Um, but I am really chuffed to have 39 items going. My plan for next month is to obviously get quite a lot cleared out because my goal for the end of the year is 450. Um, I don't think we're even that close to it yet. I will total up for next month. Um, but yeah, my goal is to kind of use up as many body lotions as possible because I know we've got four months till Christmas, but body lotion seems to th be the thing that I get given in its mountains um, over the festive season. So my plan is to try and use up as many body lotions as possible and then have my stocks depleted for when Christmas arrives. But yeah, 39 items, I'm really chuffed with that. Um, let me know if you've used any of these before, if you want any more information on the ones I've used. Um, and yeah, that's everything for me. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.